Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Marketing Uncut, where I speak every Friday about social commerce. Um, as you would know, FCO 3.0 has just started this week in Malaysia. So again, um, a lot of lockdowns happening, interstate travel is still not on ongoing um, businesses. Some businesses have to shut down and um, a lot of uh, people are again affected uh, in terms of uh, getting their products out. So um, as, as urgent as it is, it is time for you to go mobile and if you have not, this is definitely a great time to start. So um, I'm just going to talk about how to go mobile. If, if you have not seen the trend, um, for example, if you're a Starbucks fan, um, you sometimes might not even use cash to pay anymore. What you do is you know what you want to order, just go straight to the store and then place your order and just flash your mobile Starbucks card, right? Which is already integrated in your phone. So your phone is no longer just to make phone calls or to send messages. Uh, it's to check your credit card balance, it's to check the latest deals and promotions by your, your favorite uh, marketplaces. Um, five Five just happened on Lazada and Shopee and I'm sure you've spent quite a bit if you have been looking for stuff that you have uh, wanted and this would have been a great time to buy the products at really cheap prices. Um, you will also know that sometimes, um, especially now when people are more isolated, they might feel that they need a community to, 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 to kind of like a community will actually help them feel more inclusive um, and, and brands should actually take advantage of this to build a community around their brand. So what happens is when you go to a store, for example, and you should encourage your shoppers to post photos of what they're wearing to their friends and get feedback. And if you have an app to actually help their, your shopper shop within the app and also um, in store, Plus, motivate her followers to shop wherever they are because they're not with her in the shop. That will be extra sales for you, you know. Um, you can make more sales online compared to a sales in store. So when you do both, it's a double double bonus, you know. Um, same thing for um, exhibitions and sales. Uh, we used to go to department store, department store sales, we used to go to mall sales. But now with more people being wary about going out into crowded, crowded spaces, um, except for Ramadan bazaars, um, there are actually much few people, much fewer people attending this kind of um, sales, uh, physical sales. So what you can do really is to have live selling shows within your Facebook page or within your e-commerce website. So the more people talk about um, the sale of the products that are um, getting the attention or that are excited, making them excited, the more the energy will actually spread and people will want to buy but because they cannot go to the sale, the physical sale, they will, you know, their, their hands will get itchy and they want to check out the sale within their mobile phone. So if you are looking for ways to go mobile, if you have not and you're still a traditional brick and mortar store or you have a website where people cannot actually buy straight away, um, we have a solution for you. Yeah, this is where we start to pitch. So we have actually just launched uh, a, a solution where you can build a website where people can straight away check out within your website and also pay. So you don't have to chase them for money. You don't have to haggle. Don't have to re not have to reply to the thousands of PMs that come your way on WhatsApp. Everything is done orderly, uh, in an orderly manner. So yes, um, that's one way. Websites. Uh, which you can actually make it mobile friendly. Super important. There's no, if it's just a laptop version, it doesn't really work. People are going on their mobile phones much more than before. Um, I can share with you some stats. So if you're looking at ways to go mobile, these are some of the steps that you can take. First step, uh, develop a mobile version of your website. So make sure that it's mobile friendly. Um, it doesn't the words don't become so tiny that you can't read it and you, people have to expand. That is not mobile friendly. So when you're talking to your web developer, make sure that you know that he can deliver the goods. Second would be to have a payment app within uh, your store or if you're working with an individual payment app, 
people come to your store, they can already automatically use the app. So you can track who your customers are, super important, customer data. People used to take this for granted. They come to the physical stores, hello, bye, nice, have a good day. And you don't know who your customer is. So with this mobile app, you will actually know who your customers are and you can track them and you can push up promotions to them and keep in touch with them. That's what um, community is about, to always um, be in the know of what's happening, of sharing happenings in the retail world, happenings in the consumer's world. So it's not just about selling, but building relationships. Next would be to perhaps have an e-gifting option. So you can allow customers to purchase gift cards for their friends and then um, combine, combine a social component towards it. Um, consider partnering with a third party social commerce platform. Um, again, Anta Solutions does this. Uh, we actually help you to have live shows within your website, your e-commerce website. Then you already have a way for people to buy within your website. You have a payment gateway. All you need now is to have a live show so that people will interact and immediately can buy the products that you're showcasing during the live show. And then um, have exclusive deals for mobile users. I've already explained this before in my previous show. Give rewards. When people walk into your store, find a way to track them and give them rewards. When they check into your website, find a way to track them and give them rewards. Um, for example, when I signed up for Zalora, they're an e-commerce website, not so much of a social commerce website. So to encourage me to come back or to make my first purchase, they actually sent me a discount code. You might not actually use the discount code, but you, the customer might not actually want to use the discount code immediately. But once they've already entered the email, that's how you you entice them, you know, and, and you show them the products that might interest them by studying the patterns when they visit your website. This is all possible with a good e-commerce or, or social commerce website where the analytics will show where your customers are going, what they have purchased, what they have shown interest in so that you can push this product to them in the future so that they will come back, make repeated buys. And um, yeah, so that's that's me for this week. Um, again, thank you for tuning in. And if you have liked this video, do leave your comments below and I'll see you next Friday.